So when we are working in uh, fusion applications, we can uh, start with worker number as well as the person number. Let's say this is our person. Always we'll track with person number, means employee number. And internally, all the queries will be linked with person ID. Linked with person ID. That's the primary key. Can we change this person number? For example, this number is 7510. It's one of the important question in the interviews. I would like to change this person number. Is it possible? Yes, we can. We can do that. Person number can be changed. Okay. Uh, then where, where we can do and what is the navigation? That's the question comes into the picture. So let's go to here. And when I go to person tab here, when I go to person tab, I could see the information of this here, person information. Uh, then go down here. Here we are supposed to get person number change. System should allow us to change the person number here. But right now it is not displaying because... In your system, person number generation method is automatic right now. If it is automatic, we can't change the number here. What we have to do is now, we need to change from automatic to manual. For time being, we have to change from automatic to manual. Go to the task here, enterprise HCM information. Change person number generation method from automatic to manual. Click review button. Let's come back to person management page. Person tab. Go to person information, go down, see here, person number. Now system is showing person number, click edit. Then we can make some changes here. I wanted to make this number as this. Let me change to some other 9876. 9876, that's number I'm going to update, person number, save and then go for submit. Now we have changed person number successfully. Let me come back to employee record. You can see person number 9876. This is our person details. 9876, person number changed. And automatically our assignment number also changed. Yeah. So this is how we can go for change the person number. Right now person number generation method is manual. So after making changes, what we will do is we'll make it as automatic as usual. Earlier method, whatever is there, that we will follow. Because client wants to go for automatic, right? Only for the sake of changing this person number, I changed the setup and I have done my work. Let's go back to the setup and then go for uh, change. Right now, if we go for uh, hire a new employee, what happened? System will ask you to enter the person number manually. See, person number manually we have to enter here. See right now here worker number is not displaying. Worker number field is not displaying because worker number depends on your legal entity. Depends on your legal employer whether worker number is there or not. According to that it will populate. But person number is irrespective. It's at enterprise level, right? So for every legal entity person number is mandatory. 
Now, if I choose my legal entity, then based on that, the worker number is there or not. If worker number is not there for that legal entity, then this field will not be populated. Only person number, it will be going for continuation. Okay. So that's how we can work with the person number changes here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.